Of all the destructive forces on Earth, tornadoes are arguably the most terrifying. They come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, but a select few stand out among the rest. On an average Friday night in May of 2013, one storm would form over central Oklahoma that would forever change the world of meteorology. With a width of 2.6 miles and wind speeds in excess of 300 miles per hour, this tornado quickly became one for the record books. This is the story of the El Reno tornado, the largest and possibly most powerful in all of recorded history. With just over 115,000 people, Canadian County, Oklahoma is the state's fifth largest county. Sure, it sounds a little confusing, but the county is named after the Canadian River, which originated from 18th century fur trappers headed east from New France, also known as Colonial Canada. The early 2010s was a tumultuous time for Canadian County, especially for the center of the government in El Reno City. In 2011, a violent F5 tornado touched down northwest of the town. The storm claimed nine lives and injured over 180 others. With winds whipping at 295 miles per hour, it was the second most powerful twister ever recorded in American history, just a few miles per hour short of a 1999 storm that hit only 30 miles north. At the time, the people of El Reno thought they'd seen the worst. Little did they know, the worst was yet to come. Two years after the first storm, in May of 2013, meteorologists noticed several anomalies closing in on El Reno. There were varying pressure systems passed down from the Dakotas and a powerful jet stream that moved across the Rocky Mountains and through the Great Plains. Experts predicted unstable air masses in the Mississippi Valley, and wind shear speeds upwards of 63 miles per hour brewed the perfect conditions for the perfect storm. In the early morning of May 31, 2013, the Storm Prediction Center, or SPC, warned El Reno and neighboring communities about the risk of severe thunderstorms, hail, and a few violent tornadoes. Several hours later, the SPC upgraded their warning to a particularly dangerous situation tornado watch in the area surrounding I-44, a central highway system passing through the heart of Canadian County and Oklahoma City. Thunderstorms developed west of the capital city and rapidly intensified to severe levels just before rush hour. By 5.30 p.m., the National Weather Service issued an official tornado warning in Canadian County but they had no idea what was about to happen next. Just after 6 p.m., a twister touched down about eight miles southwest of El Reno. However, this wasn't just one tornado at first. Several subvortices touched down as part of the whole, like a Mind Flayer tornado sending its minions to do its bidding. By now, the storm had reached F3 intensity, according to ground surveys. That means the winds blew between 158 and 206 miles per hour based on the enhanced Fujita scale, the National Weather Service's go-to scale for measuring storm intensity. Unfortunately, the El Reno tornado was just getting started. Shortly after, the storm passed due south of El Reno, moving across Route 81. It's here that the tornado set a record that stands to this day. The twister grew to an unprecedented 2.6 miles in diameter, becoming the largest tornado in all of recorded history. To put that into perspective, that would be like 38 football fields lined up from end zone to end zone. By 6.30, the record-setting storm inched closer to the more populated areas of Canadian County. And don't think for even a second that the storm moved at a snail's pace. At times, the El Reno Twister raced across open land at 55 miles per hour. Imagine a 2.6 mile wide car barreling down the highway. With imminent doom fast approaching, the National Weather Service issued emergency warnings across Canadian County. By their calculations, the storm was on a collision course with Oklahoma City's western metropolitan area. Storm trackers watched with bated breath 
not wanting to imagine the cataclysmic level of destruction a storm this size would bring. However, they all breathed a sigh of relief when the storm turned northeast and passed directly over Interstate 40 instead. It continued over open land for a few more minutes before eventually lifting back into the clouds from whence it came. The 2.6 mile wide tornado was on the ground for 40 harrowing minutes, tracing a 16.2 mile path through Canadian County, Oklahoma. At first, storm trackers categorized the El Reno tornado as an F3 level storm. However, that conclusion sparked debate between different organizations. They all just witnessed the same storm. Anything less than an F5 rating, the most powerful it can get, was impossible. Mobile radar data confirmed how intense the storm truly was, with winds clocking in at 296 miles per hour, making it slightly stronger than the 2011 storm, but still not the most powerful tornado ever recorded. According to the Fujita scale, an F5 storm gets classified as such when winds top 260 miles per hour. The official scale goes up to 318, but a storm that intense has never been, and hopefully never will be, recorded. F5 winds are strong enough to lift a house clean from its foundation. They can throw car-sized projectiles several hundred feet or more and suck the bark clean off of a tree, if not uproot the tree itself. After a second look at the data, experts found winds reaching 302 miles per hour putting the El Reno storm on par with or just above the 1999 storm. However, that doesn't mean the entire 2.6 mile twister was spinning that fast. The fastest winds came from subvortices inside the main storm. On the outside, the behemoth topped out at about 185 miles per hour. Rick Smith, an expert from the National Weather Service, called this tornado a super rare occurrence for F5 storms. He also stated how lucky they were that the storm bypassed Oklahoma City, among other populated areas. We could be talking about death tolls in the hundreds if not thousands if the storm ripped through the metropolitan area. Smith said the potential devastation would have been of biblical proportions. Unfortunately, the 2013 storm still claimed eight lives, including a team of storm chasers. While even one life is too many, the storm could have been much, much worse. Because it moved over mostly open terrain, the damage was relatively light. Still, workers returned to one Oklahoma City livestock market to find it in complete disarray. A few large brick buildings came tumbling down at the Canadian Valley Tech Center, and a massive wind turbine blade flew a hundred yards away, embedding itself in the side of a daycare building. Once all was said and done, the total damage from the world's largest tornado was only 35 to 40 million dollars. And we say only because of how much higher the number could have been had it not occurred in a mostly rural area. Because of its intensity, unusual movement patterns, and numerous records it broke, the 2013 El Reno tornado is now widely considered as the most infamous and well-known tornado of all time. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that said, thank you all for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.